up, tankers? Space Bandit here with another episode of World of Tanks. And today we have a special one. Man, this is going to be an epic battle. Replay was sent to me by Freddy FMB. He's in Object 268 version 5. This is a high alpha TD that can put out ridiculous amounts of damage. It has 303 millimeters of penetration on standard round, which is AP. Premium round is heat round. It's 395 millimeters of penetration. Unbelievable for 850 alpha per shell. Now, Freddy is platooning with your key and green and all clanmates. But to be honest, this game is about Freddy and what a ridiculous result he's gonna achieve in this tank on this map. This could be probably one of the highest damage results in World of Tanks in World War II era. Now, apologies for third person view, but unfortunately Freddy doesn't have a capture card, so he had to record using the built-in World of Tanks replay system, which sucks to be honest, it's horrible. Not sure why they haven't fixed it by now, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you where he's penetrating tanks in the top left hand corner. So you're gonna see screen appearing there from time to time. As you see there, he missed a shot on the Tusk so that you can correlate where he's shooting, where is he aiming, so on and so forth. But what a ridiculous game this is going to be, guys. Regardless of the replay system, I really wanted to share this with you. It's absolutely insane, insane. And usually high damage games come from the same position, believe it or not. Most of my high damage games are the same way. It's when the opposition actually spills onto the field and you have shots all the way around you. So that's what's gonna happen here with Freddy. He's on map Overlord, tier 10 matchup, a lot of TDs per side. So he's doing a wise thing sitting back and sniping here because with so many TDs in the game, last thing you want is sacrifice your tank early and be pretty much taken out of the game. So he's already sitting at 2.5, almost 2.6K damage. He just managed to put a blind shot into the Ruthless but he's got plenty of shots over here he's gonna concentrate on this Martian right now yeah he's gonna just stay here in this position wait for opportunities as long as he has shots here he's gonna stay and try to put damaging shots into the opposition what's the point of moving if you have all these targets right here so he puts another shell into Martian and his damage is gonna rack up quickly you're gonna see here this Martian is way overexposing Freddy should be able to take him out. Now he's aiming the shot really well, I see, but unfortunately, <laughs> RNG, sometimes that's the way it works and this shot goes into Martian's track. But do not despair. Martian is very slow, he's barely moving. Freddy's gonna continue targeting him. This time he puts a shell into the side of the turret just when he rotates it. So that shot pens, bringing his damage total to 4.6k damage. Now that's why Guys, that's why you don't go to the beach, because this is what happens usually later on in a game. If your team wins the beach, it's completely inconsequential. Because if you're going to try to come up onto the higher ground, you're going to get punished severely. Luckily here, Tusk misses his shot on Freddy right there, which is a good omen. Can he hit this Ruthless in the background? Unfortunately, no shot there. So he's gonna look for shots on the beach again. He's gonna try to respot these guys to see where they are. He spots C100 and another TD down on the bottom there, but he decides not to shoot them. He's gonna come back, try to shoot this AV4005, but he gets taken out. So now all of a sudden he's getting flanked. Looks like this TVP is already on the other side of this ridge line. So he's gonna just drive down without dropping, taking TVP out of the game just like that his IS-7 is charging the opposition's IS-7 so Freddy he's gonna take this opportunity to drop down here and since IS-7 is giving him beautiful shot into his ammo rack he blows his head off just like that <laughs> with turret flying and yeah taking all of his hit points well if not all most of his hit points raising his damage total to over 8,000 damage already and while I say that, his T-30 tank destroyer decides to commit suicide. Well done, bud. So his team is losing. 
six to nine and this is going to be a defensive standstill now five to nine and looks like this task is smelling blood he's coming right after freddy but freddy puts a huge shell into him friendly is7 puts another huge shell into this task and for whatever reason he decides to ram is7 yeah that's a great idea but like that's gonna work out well for you now freddy makes a bit of a misplay here he gets double penned or double whacked by those TDs on the bottom there, which probably wasn't the most optimal thing to do. But I think he was looking at his damage being at over 9,000. And he was like, man, I got to get it over 10K. I know that feeling because I've been there before. So more often than not, that can get you killed. But you know what? You got to do what you got to do. And I think Freddy learned his mistake. So from this point, he's going to play it much safer. He's got this E100 there. Can he put a shell into him? Yes, he puts a shell into his turret. Takes him out of the game. Bringing his damage total to over 10,000 damage already. With still five opposition tanks remaining in a game. Now, games like this are extremely hard to come by, guys. This is probably game of his lifetime. He's probably never going to have another game like that ever. But in order to have games like that, you need good teammates. And in this situation, he did. He had a friendly bat shot who was absolutely fantastic. Looks like he had three marks of excellence on his tank. So he definitely helped Freddy in this situation, taking some of the attention away from him, as well as providing vital spots for Freddy when he needed it. So now... This play is going to be very defensive. Freddy's not going to move from this position. He's pretty much a one-shot to everything on the field. He's going to have to play it really cautious. But he needs to shoot whatever bat shot spots. And there we go. Bat shot spots. T-124 crossing in the middle of the field. Freddy puts another juicy shell into him. Bringing his damage total to over 11,000 damage. This is ridiculous. Absolutely insane. And the game is not over yet not over yet so he loses his sixth sense and now he's free to come up here and see whether he can re-engage this t110e4 looks like he's got no shot at the moment so he's gonna try to drop off but all of a sudden t110e4 decided to make a run for it run forest run unfortunately for him that turned out to be short-lived and he gets taken out by freddy now Freddy spots this Yak Tiger on the beach that still has over 700 HP left. I think he's focusing his friendly bat shot at the moment. So Freddy's just gonna roll in undetected and he takes him down. Look at his damage total 12,756. What is happening over here? Guys, what is happening over here? So on the top left, you're going to see Batshot. Since Freddy is trying to get to the battle right here, I thought it would be beneficial to show what Batshot is doing at the moment. He's trying to engage the opposition's Batshot and opposition's object 780. He's hunting them down. Freddy's playing really cautious again. He knows that there's a Batshot in area K8. So he wants him to get respotted before he pokes out. He's a one-shot to pretty much anything. But friendly Batshot finds object 780. He's gonna just feast on him. It looks like he's using his HP at the moment in order to take the Russian Heavy out of the game. He's almost successful in doing that. At the same time, Freddy's moving up, hoping that he can get another shell into this object. I believe that's what he was trying to do. Lucky Batshot gets hit in a track, which does not pen. So he's still alive. And... It looks like they're going to corner both red tanks over here. Hopefully bringing this game to a close. Batshot takes down Object 780. So now it's just Opposition's Batshot remaining. Can Freddy find him and put a shell into him? Giving him Top Gun medal. Yes, he can. And yes, he does. Securing this game for the team. Oh my goodness. Wow. Six kills. 12,048 damage, 2,000 base... Wait, what? Okay, there is some discrepancy here. I'm not sure what the hell is going on, but my count was 12,700. But the game counts only 12,048 damage for whatever reason, regardless. 
it's a 12,000 damage game. Freddy finishes with Mastery Ace Tanker, Top Gun Metal. He finishes on top of the team with 2,051 base XP. What a miraculous game. Wishing you all games like that on the battlefield, guys. I hope you enjoyed this replay. Until next time, happy tanking, Space Bandit. Checking out.